The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 14th, uh, Tuesday, 14th of May. We're looking at the Dow uh, having just briefly gone negative early on, even though the futures were up earlier in the morning. It's up 68 right now, 39,499. Basically, we're looking at the nine period moving average very strong over the 14. That's a really big point. And we had this left side, right side price time match from this plumb line that I chose right there, that peak A. <coughs> it got to the level that we were looking at, which was 39,421 uh, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, on Thursday, had a higher high on Friday. Had a high high yesterday, but had a red candle closed down, and now it's giving back some of the 81 point loss yesterday. Actually, working its way higher. Uh, this is a B in the Chapman methodology. I'll just show you this briefly for those of you who don't know my technique. Identify the lowest low bar. Actually, let's use this one right here. Count each successively higher peak, peak A, B, C, D. Fourth highest peak is where other things can happen, but. <laughs> if within two bars, within sorry three bars, it goes to a higher high. You get an alternate count E slash A, F slash B can go even higher in another four peaks to the upside. Right now we're only at a peak B. But wait a minute, what we've got here in the S and P? I just hit a pink. Don't tell me about for some reason. Actually, no, it didn't. I was going to say. <coughs> Excuse me. Up 81 in the in the Dow, so it's given back yesterday's loss. The S oh typed in the wrong place. That's what it was. S and P. There we go. S and P is up eight and a half at 52,029. It needs to take out within three days, uh, preferably two days, but three days. It needs to go above 52.39.66 for a potential. Instant restart, which says, yes, you can go four higher peaks, but all you need to do is just have a parallel count, E slash A, etc. cetera. Um, and the MACD is very strong. The nine's way over the 14. There's a one-to-one -one extension, uh, and that takes you to right there. That's 52.44, so we've got a little way to go. That's underneath the all-time high, 52.64.85, made on the 28th of March. Uh, the MACD is strong. The histogram, yeah, the histogram, actually, well, we have to wait for the end of the day. But so far, it looks like it's still climbing. That's the distance between the 9 and the 14. It's the distance between the 9 period, nine differential and the slow-moving average of 26-period 26, 26 moving average. And the relative strength is rising a little bit. It's not great. The flat stochastic at 94%, there's nothing more you could wish for is a flat stochastic at 94%. That's... If you're long, that's exactly what you want to keep that up. And the on-balance volume is, um, it's really not overbought, oversold. It's just acting very well. And the weekly chart is nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful V-shape or a cup formation trying to tackle the 52.64.85 high that was made back in late March. So that's all very positive. Let's go to the IWM. Uh, no, no, let's go to the QQQQQQ. There we go. QQQ is the index 100. Basically, the ETF 443.36 up 28 cents. Kind of stalling sideways here. It's, it's struggling a little bit. I think that's to do with the SMHs. Yeah, the SMHs are 51 cents. The semis at 223.84. Peak D, same as the S&P, peak D. Uh, the uh, IWM is the Russell 2000. It's up 2.32 at 207.06. Now, it's really important so that within two bars of, of this particular technique, uh, Dudette says, Fed's pal, my confidence in inflation moving back down is lower than, <laughs> is lower than it was. Um, um, uh, what can I say? Uh, transition. Yeah, all, all I can say is that We'll just do what we have to do. Let federal, federal, um, the the Fed's Powell.
do his homework, we'll do ours. Meantime, back at the ranch, the IWM, the small caps are benefiting because in a sense, they are, I can't say they're leading because the percentages don't say that, but this is the first time that the small caps, the Russell iShare 2000 ETF, has shown the persistence of its move. Usually it goes up and then it just tanks. In this particular case, those red candles are not anywhere close to what they would normally be We're on the way down. Look at that. And I, I, well, I, maybe we bias because we are still, let me just make this a different color. We've been along for a little while. And um, all I can say is that the market has to tell us, and so far the market said that the small caps on those pullbacks, are, look, for instance, today it's up on a percentage basis 1.19. The Dow is only up 0.29. The S&P is up 1.8. Uh, the QQQ is up 0.10. So each day on this move up, on a percentage basis, the, the um, IWM has shown better relative comparative strength on the percentage basis. And that's all I wanted. And that just says that there is a chance that on any big pullback, maybe uh, in, a, in a week or two, I'm anticipating that when we get to that peak D in the Dow, that's where we've got to be really careful. We haven't got there yet. We're still in a leg B to the upside. So let's see what happens. And the 211.88 uh, most recent recovery high on the 28th of March in the, in the small caps, that's going to be a big deal because if we go under it or on it and we don't go sharply above it into the 213, 215 area in the next three weeks, whew, then we can have, see that quite a bit of a pullback. So in the meantime, it's a work in progress, but a very uh, positive so far work in progress. All right, let's get back to our story. We want to look at gold. Gold is up. Uh, whoops, gold is up. 14 at 2357, just walking the nine period moving average, holding very nicely. Uh, silver is up 21 cents at 28.67. You can see it's, there's a little struggle going on here, but it's all very positive at this particular point. And I think one of the reasons is that we do have a relationship here that gold is starting to, we, uh, the dollar is starting to weaken. It's down 18 ticks at 105.04. It's not breaking down. It's just saying, I don't really have that strength anymore that I had before. I'm just making lower highs and lower lows. Ah, we'll see what happens. So within that context, um, someone had asked me, could I look at PAAS? That's Pan American Silver. Now, I, I, I did this recently, and I'm finding that uh, it's trading at 20.25, up 28 cents. That this... The, the rally that we saw last week essentially looks to me like that was a peak G right there. There's never an H. That is a G right there. Was that really a peak A, peak B, peak C, G slash C, and this is a D? No, I actually think that Pan American Silver is doing very nicely here, uh, mostly because of that big spike that was last Wednesday or Thursday. I think it was Thursday. And therefore, we are really looking at Big A, big A, and this is a B. Now I have to give it an alternate count, but I'm just saying, just for now, I'm going to call it a B in the daily, a, a B in the weekly, and it's acting extremely well. Pan American Silver, uh, a minor, and it's, it's doing very nicely. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, so we're looking at uh, PAAS, that's Pan American Silver, up 22 cents at 20.19. I knew that I'd missed something, so I went back, checked it, and by one penny we made it peak A right there, peak B. <clears throat> I'm calling the C right now. Most importantly, there's a chance that you're making a cup and a handle. Not one of my favorite patterns, uh, unless you time it right. If you're already long, that's great. You don't have to worry about this. But I'm just going to say that at 20.22, at 19.30, <clears throat> a close under 19.30 in the next day or two says, uh oh, stalling and probably going to go sideways before it builds up more strength to go higher. That's really what I'm looking at. So I hope that helps you. A question came in. Was it a question or a statement? Could I do... Uh, what was that right there? Oh, can you post Hood? Yeah. Hood right now is trading <clears throat> up $1.60. Oh, that's good action. Look at that. Um, uh, this is Robin Hood. And I'm not sure quite why it had that big sharp pullback from the 1940 area down to 1640. That's a that's a three point move. That's a big move. It's getting some of it back. I think that Hood is building very nice strength to move even higher, based on the weekly and day and monthly charts. But there's, it has to get out of this rectangle. It's basically stuck in a range right now. I wouldn't be surprised if <clears throat> it retests the 17s. One more time. I'm not sure it's going back. I was hoping for it to go into the low 16s. It got to about 1630. That uh, that was a that was a good tip off. That um, if you wanted to get in, that was the range. Now it's it's just it's uh, after the candle of yesterday with the gap to the upside. This is very good action. So I'm going to draw this in as a potential pattern, a potential cup pattern in the weekly chart right there. And I don't make it that high. I make it right to that level right there. And all I can say is that Chapman Wave red Roman candle, inverse Roman candle from last week. And that's the one that was tipping me off that there was a chance we could go underneath it. Well, we haven't. What we've done is, look, the halfway marker, this is the technique that I developed a long time ago, is 18.54. Um, if there's a daily close, 
above 1854, there's a really good chance that the high that was made last week, I think it was Thursday the 9th, um, at 1947, that's going to be tested. Um, at this particular point, it's a work in progress, so we'll see what happens. This is very positive action. Robin Hood is really, um, it's just changed its character. It's looking at higher highs and higher lows, and it's done that for a while. And you can see the weekly chart had a lowercase h that went to a lowercase m, and then another arch formation. And it's almost like you've got that cup formation forming somewhat like a bowl formation from the 681 low of June of 2022. Um, you know, when you're talking about a couple of years, going from 681 to the most recent high of 20.55, that is nothing. That is usually what you'd see is a double or a triple. So we kind of got that as a triple. And then what you'd be looking at is some kind of a pullback. And if this is really building momentum to the upside, then these ugly candles, when the, the Robin Hood had this 85 round number high on August of 2021, um, you, you would see moves to each one of those big red candles. So the first big red candle to be tackled in 20, to this year, 2024, and I'd even put the time as to, I'd say, probably late July into August. It could be earlier, but I'm saying that's what we're looking at. And that's the candle that has a 26.39 high and a 16.68 low. That's the candle, the candle of uh, December of 2021. And that's the way it looks right now. Key support will be a close underneath this inverted Chapman Wave red Roman candle. And it has to be by, I'm going to give it two weeks. Usually I say two, maybe three, but I'm going to give it only two weeks. If in the next, between now and Friday a week, if there is a close on a daily basis below 1622, then we're looking at a timeout that says that the 15s area is going to be the big test. All right, that's the way it's looking right now. Doing very nicely. So I just wanted to show you this. This is the, remember, we're looking at a peak D. That's where other things can happen in the Chapman Wave methodology. Your objective is to get to a D. Well, look at this. This is a peak E in the five-minute chart. This is a leg D, only a leg D. So if you make a new recovery high above 52, we're doing it right now. We just did it. No, 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 just about to come around the corner of the first bend. Wow, wasn't that a race, the Kentucky Derby? I just happened to tune in whenever it was the other day. Um, and I saw the, these horses just almost neck and neck, nose to nose. It was fantastic. Um, and, and then my son told me that he was at a, at a, a friend who's, uh, who actually races horses, didn't have a horse in this race. and um, But they were all together, a whole bunch of them. And they had these pools, the two pools that they uh, had. And he got uh, Dan, what was it, Mystic Dan, was it? Uh, he, he had that. He said, oh, I'm looking at this horse. There's no way. And then all of a sudden, I'm looking and it squeezes through. And I won. He said, unbelievable. Anyway, so this is what we're looking at here. Neck and neck around the bend as they turn. It's going to make a new recovery high to go to the 25. The number we're looking at is 25, 55, 75. And it's very close. Yep, there it is, 25, 25, 25, 55, around the corner, nose to nose, 52, 54, 55, up, 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 another 25 cents. Well, what we're looking at here is that the E mini in leg D is still showing good strength. And um, pop, go on, do it. And the, the uh, five-minute chart is just extended high. Yep, there it goes. So this is extension leg D. This is the look off the 200. Look at the. Tell me. I mean, you, you. I talk about techniques all the time. You can talk about cycles and all sorts of things, but in your actual trading, look at this. You see this this orange colored moving average. This is the 200 period moving average in the five minute chart. In other words, it's looking back 200 five minute bars, right? That's uh, what's a thousand minutes. So what we're looking at here is that every time. It was so significant that it couldn't break sharply above it. All that period from this morning, uh, Eastern time, between 1 o'clock and that 8.30 news that had its, the price spiraling down, unbelievable. It went down to the uh, 52, 16.75 level right there. And now we're, all, we're at 52, 57.60. 
And this is a leg, I'm calling this a leg F for now, although it could be a B. Unbelievable how this is just working out. All right. In the meantime, back at the ranch, I just wanted to do that to show you how important these Fs can be. But if it recycles to the upside, be careful. That's all I'm saying. That's really what I'm saying. And funny, I had those two future contracts that I had to get out of because I just I was busy. I couldn't got them by accident, hit it by mistake. And is this a brand new A in the one minute chart? Hmm. Oh, isn't that fascinating? All right, let's get back to our story here. Um, so questions came in. So I was talking about Robin Hood, and now I want you to do something else. In the break, I, there are a couple of stocks. I just put them in order as to how I want to look at them, why I want to look at them, and we'll be right back. That's what happened. Tiger the Fishes Hour on this Tuesday. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks, I was asked to look at ARKG. 
This is ARC Genomics Revolution ETF. Now, this is interesting. I kind of had this off on my radar for a long time. But thank you, uh, Jeff, for pointing it out. Uh, this is at 27.43 up a dollar 12. It's an in leg D. Now the whole thing about this using this particular technique is the is the uh, resistance levels at the 28 uh, 80ish area <clears throat> on the left, and the 200 period moving average uh, of 28.81, which it hasn't even seen for uh, f since April. Look at that, how, how it was a magnet. It couldn't go above it and hold. It couldn't go below it. It kept coming back, and then it pushed away. Well, now that's a declining trend line, and that just says that if the genomics uh, ARKG um, ETF is able to trade to 28.30 in the next few days, then that 28.81 level becomes a magnet. So you, it's not going to do anything until it gets there. If it fails under that, be careful because it could come back and test the 26 is quite easily, but it's now on my radar. Why? Because the um, it's got a pattern of peak Ds. This is a leg D uh, in the daily chart. The weekly chart has a long way to go to get the pink nine period moving average positive, and that monthly chart made the dreaded H pattern successfully so far. If there is a close in the next three months, <clears throat> a one week close above 20, no, 34.37. <clears throat> That'll be very positive, and the next target will be the 39s. There, well, 38, actually, the number is 38.97. That was the high of July of 2023. Absolutely, there cannot be a close below the low that was made on the 25th of April, uh, 2262. A close below $22 says, uh-oh, this thing is in real trouble. Um, it's going to take quite a while for it to, to rally sharply. So Bitcoin <clears throat> is the next thing. Sideways, remember the other day I said, <clears throat> excuse me, that voice, I don't know, it gets. Okay, let's see if that helps it. <clears throat> so we're looking at um, the... Bitcoin futures at 62,265. What I had said, the high of 75,185 back on the 14th of March, that pullback said to me that there was a good chance that we were going to go into a rectangle formation. Well, we did. And we had a, an equal price movement in points from that 75,185 high of the 14th of March to the 20th of March low of 62,400. Big rally up to the seven, just under, well, 73,900. 73, <clears throat> and then you had a one to one. The same parallel move to the downside took you almost to the low. This is the high of the uh, 8th of April, 71,990. And it comes down to the low, trough D actually, the low of, uh, I'm going to give it 19th of April to the 60,245 60, level. Then it has another rally. Now I've drawn this in and I said, no, I think that that rectangle formation, and I have a whole bunch of techniques uh, on my webinars. If you're interested, you can become a subscriber. You can check out. I've got a, a whole bunch of, uh, di this is discussion with techniques that you use. If there is a long, narrow rectangle or a large rectangle. They have completely different characteristics. So in this particular instance, it started off as a, as a, a large rectangle, but now what it's done is it's become kind of a widish, fairly narrow in that sense because of the time uh, rectangle. And the rule of thumb is that if, the, if at some point you go to a higher high and then you break the midpoint, in this case 68,100, there's a good chance you're going to go below and then a rally back inside. If you can't get above, in this case, 60, oh, I just lost it, 68,100, I'm not giving you time. I'm just saying in the next week or two, if you can't close above that level, there's a good chance you're going to keep uh, showing weakness. And that makes this 59,000 level really important near-term support. 
because otherwise you're going to test the 52,000. So Bitcoin sideways action going nowhere right now after a fantastic move up to that high. You can see the doji candle, and now we're making lower highs and lower lows, but it's only a peak C in the monthly chart, and that says it should still be a higher high to come, but I, I, I have to see what happens with a nine-period moving average so strong in the weekly chart, it would take a move below 52,000. Well, maybe 53,000 uh, to get that green nine period moving average pink and a negative. Okay, with that said, a couple of things are going on. Uh, very frustrating to me. I, I had we had a buy uh, on a particular stock the other day. I really liked it, it had good earnings, but this time the earnings were in defiance of the powerful competition from major leaguers in the area. And I, I love that we got in and then we just got stopped out. And today I said, let's get a split position. And normally in the split position, I'd say, let's take it at the almost the opening price because we've got the split position. We can always add that on the on a pullback. I didn't do that today. I thought there was just a good chance it would just sneak a little bit under. And here it is uh, up very sharply this morning. Ah, missed it, missed adding back. Ah, it's so frustrating. And then there was another one that I looked at, which had great earnings and then tumbled after the earnings. And then when I looked at the um, I, the number of shares that the CEO has, I mean, the guy's a billionaire. So when I saw him and everybody else selling uh, 10 million lots at a time, recently I thought, oh, man, that's not a good sign. But when I, on the weekend, when I saw how much he has, I said, oh, no, this is nothing. This is, well, I wouldn't call it pocket change, <laughs> 10 million at a time. But I would say that, that it's just maybe money management on his part. So that particular stock, we do own it, can't complain, but I wanted to add a trading position, and we didn't. And now that particular stock is up 7.5% uh, today, up 3.23. That happens. You do the best you can. All right. <clears throat> oh, and Vonix, oh, that's one we used to have. What is this? Is I can't complain. We've got some really nice stocks acting very well today. But wow. Oh, yeah, Invonix. This is silicon anode, lithium ion, battery development, 3D cell architecture. Yeah, this is the candle that you wanted. But the day is young. It needs to hold the gains that it's looking at right now. Up at $1.05 at 982, up at almost 12%. But it's a low price stock for those percentages. You know what Tommy always talks about? Don't be fooled by percentages when you're looking at low price uh, stocks. In this case, it's, it's it's a good candle, but you want to see it close here. Yeah, the 200 feet picking average is at 10.42. It's at 9.82 right now. We should try to eat. I'll be back in a moment. That's what happened. Thank you. Ah, that was down to The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I need to just show you this line. See, here's the E-mini. And you can see that green line. That's the nine period moving average over the 14. Very close to turning negative, but it hasn't yet. Look how strong this 200 period moving average support is. It's like a magnet. It goes, comes back down. Look how many times it's been tested over the last 24 hours. The five-minute chart. And now it's trying its best to come back. It's a little underneath the, uh, the one-minute chart. And look at the 10-minute chart. This is a leg D that went to a peak D, so I put a plus sign. I haven't been able to upgrade it to a cell signal or even a cell mode yet. Um, and the same thing with the five-minute chart. Now, look how far you've come down from that nine period moving average at around about the 5250 level, and yet it still hasn't turned pink. If this goes back, if there's any chance that the E mini starts to go back to the 5251 level, uh, I would say in the next you, you, time is a factor here. In the next 10 minutes or so, that's going to be important. But if it stays, and now that 200 period is going to start to become a repellent line because it's the magnet line right now, that's going to be important. So I just wanted to show you some techniques that you might want to consider in your own uh, trading. It doesn't matter whether it's a stock or the ETF. It doesn't matter. It's the principle is you're following price, and that's what price has done. So now let's go back to what we were looking at. So that was Envonics, and the next question came in. Oh, where did I put it? Um, yeah, Meta. Meta. Meta had this huge decline. Uh, it's trading at 531.49, all-time high uh, back in April. And whew, suddenly, around about the 22nd, it comes out news, and it wasn't good, and it plunges down to the 414.50 low. It also that day made a 421 round number open on the 25th of April. But it went from the 414.50 low to the high three days ago in the 478 area. Let me just check what that was. 477.50. And now it's pulling back a little bit. And that pink 9 period moving average is trying desperately to close positive. So that's the way I like to look at things, um, saying there's a gap. It hasn't filled the gap. Um, it's trying very hard. It's done a, an, a very, uh, a pretty impressive job of filling in a chunk of the gap. And if you look at the nine period moving average, that pink, uh, the nine period moving average is green, way over the 14. So, so far, that's strength. And it's a leg B. Uh, sorry, a peak. Nope, no, it's a leg B. We have to wait all month to find out if it cannot take out the 531.49 high. Most importantly, Meta Platforms, Inc. Um, oh, I, I have a tough time saying it. This is Facebook. Should try to tackle the high of 531 uh, 
I, I would say by July, August, somewhere around there. Um, that's why I'm looking at it. All right. So um, that's the other one. Oh, Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot. This is amazing. Mm. 396.87 was the most recent high. That was back in March. But wait a minute. 420.61 was the all-time high in December of 2021. Plunges down to the 262-ish level and then rallies all the way up to the 396 level, and now it's pulling back. I think that Home Depot, even though the summer's coming up, spring, summer, um, uh, pass, I just uh, did PAAS, uh, Peaky, and what I said, well, oh, to add to, oh, I'll get to that in a second. So I uh, just let me finish my Home Depot question by Jake. 338.08 um, uh, down uh, minus 292. And it's gone to peak A, peak B, and this is a C. And now that 9P moving average has gone right back to pink, but it's on the 200P moving average. I think Home Depot is going to struggle here. That was a spectacular move going to 2021 20, high and then all the way down. But it was also a spectacular move in the weekly chart going back to that 396.87. I just think it needs a timeout. So in this area, let's look at builders, BLD. BLDR, Builders First Source, um, Building Materials. Yeah, it's the same thing. On the 200 period moving average, it's tried to bounce. I think this is an area that's telling me that at least in the next couple of weeks, it's still vulnerable with limited upside. All of these stocks in the home uh, building area. Let's look at Toll Brothers, un except Toll Brothers. Look at that magnificent move. Home Builders, it's kind of complex right now. Um, yes. Um, the prices are extremely high, and yes, rates are high, and yes, people are having a tough time um, just making that decision at this particular moment to put that kind of money to work. And yet, look how well Toll Brothers is. I, I believe it's a great company. I, I'm not in that area, so I don't know, but I believe it's a very good company. All I can say is that this is a high level consolidation, the, the most recent all time high was at 130.63. 130 uh, that was the week of the 5th of April, and it's plummeted, really. This is the sharpest decline it's had in a while. There are three ugly candles going down to about 111, and now it's back at 126. It's holding well, but I think what we are looking at is a good chance that it's going to make a rectangle formation with lower highs, and slightly lower lows, kind of working its way to retest 122 over the next two, three weeks. That's the way I'm looking at it. Okay, next question came in is, um, oh, that's right, pass. So what I had said about pass is acting extremely well. Oh, you heard all that. All you want to know is this is an add to. I would not add to right at this particular point. Um, I should just say, it depends on how much you have. If you feel that you haven't got enough, the way it's acting right now, it's in a very strong leg A to the upside, going from the 12-ish area uh, to the 20 area. And that just says to me, even the weekly chart suggests that there could be some sideways move. But if you're prepared for a one-and-a-half-point risk to the downside and you don't feel that you've got enough, I'm going to say split your ad and start a split position add-on right here at 20.16, realizing that even if it makes a D, it's probably going to digest these gains and come back and test the 1930 area, 1920. But I, uh, looking out, it's really, this is a good, a good series of highs. Um, and the weekly chart is very strong. Look at the distance between the nine period moving uh, nine period differential in the weekly chart and the 26 period uh, moving average uh, with a histogram still so strong. So I hope that helps you. Okay, I had a question that I forgot all about. Oh, oh, FXI. I wrote written this down. Let's do this now because I forgot about it yesterday. FXI, <clears throat> remember when it was making the low deck at 20.86? in January, and I said, you know, this is the first time that I'm looking at the FXI with the technical starting to improve. I think this is 
I don't know if it'll retest the lows, but I actually like the upside potential. So it's gone from 20.86 to 28.04. This is the China large caps. So this is very good action. Um, it's making a potential PE right now at 28.03. It's a leg C in the weekly chart, and all the technicals suggest even if there's a pullback, it should go to a D. I like this one. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tigers Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So, Shebang, uh, XPENG, Inc., designs of it, manufactures smart EVs. I, I'd be real careful with this. It's just in a sideways range at 814, up five cents. I, I just, I, I'd be careful. Uh, that whole area is just suspect right now. Uh, question, oh, the statement came in. And as they said that, I'm looking to my left and I have in my screamer list, H-U-M-A stock I've been following closely. Uh, it was just tootling along in the fours. And here it is at 651. It's up a dollar five today, up 20%. This is Humicide Inc., bioengineered human tissue. Uh, wow, right through the 200 period moving average. This is what these biotechs do. This is fantastic. You see the monthly chart. If it stays green, or if it suddenly pulls back, you can get a long wick. Uh, next question was well, just as we we're about to wrap up. Yes. So um, I'm anticipating that the Dow uh, just kind of holds steady, kind of stalls here, makes a peak B. But if I'm correct, there should be a leg C and then a leg D. 
Stolzikartman. That's where we're going to be testing everything. We're going to be doing an analysis of all the other indices. So the Dow's up 20. I'd say to subscribers, if it's up 45 or more after 130, that's that's kind of good action. If it's down minus 45, five, um, minus 40 or more at 130, that just says probably going to be a weakish, weakish, not a weak, but a weakish close. So, and if you're looking at the SPX <clears throat> uh, trading right now, giving back some up 4.38. High level consolidation looking quite good. It breaks down if it starts to trade in the next two days under uh, 5,200. But right now it looks like it's it, it has enough energy in the next day or two to attempt to pop to go to a leg E. And that's going to be important. I don't know about that 5264.85 all time high of, of March 28th, but we are definitely making high highs and higher lows. And that's important. So I'm going to say wrapping it up. I'll be back with Tom later on this afternoon. And don't forget, I did do uh, Tommy Jr.'s show, The Market Kickoff, um, this morning at 9 o'clock to 10 and my show. So check out my opening call daily newsletter, and I will see you later today.